Welcome to the replay. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalkator. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat right here on Facebook. If you're catching me on YouTube, you guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun, crafty videos and all the great things coming for the spring, summer season. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. I would love it if you would share this video. In the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. Just click that share button, share it to your page, share it with your friends and family. You can share it to any groups that you're allowed to. It is the greatest compliment you can give me. Hey guys, hi Patty, hi Shaleen, hi Tina, welcome ladies, glad you can hop on. Happy Saturday. What's everyone doing? Thanks for sharing, Tina. Excited to be here with you tonight. Hi Gloria, how are you? Welcome. So glad you can join. Hi Miss Rebecca Burns, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you guys are popping on. I'm excited to do this project for you tonight. For those of you that are new, this is a fun DIY home decor and crafting company called Chocotour. So I'm going to throw this up on my screen real quick. We are a DIY home decor and crafting company and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have super cool silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste and we have Couture inks. Now we do have several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames, we have canvas banners and pillowcases, but this can be done on t-shirts, dish towels, wood, tin, glass, you guys just about anything you can think of you can chalk on, cardstock for those of you that are card makers, um, wreath makers, you guys, you could do a lot of great things with you if you put your little cute signs in wreaths, but the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor home business. It is available in the US. Hi Amy, how are you? For $99 and in Canada for $129. So if you're interested in learning more about that, this is our current startup kit right now. You can check that out on my website, but just give me a hashtag join below and I will make sure I get you all the information that you need. So you guys, <coughs> excuse me, let me get a drink really quick, sorry. I am excited to do this project for you tonight. It's something I actually have been thinking about for a couple days on doing, but I have to show you guys this first and foremost. So this is really cool. You guys, we also have all these tools. Right, Shaleen? Totally. Hi, Sandy. I missed you today in the Club Couture. I was super sad. I didn't get to see you today, but we've got to figure that out how we can get everybody in there so that we can all get together. So you guys, this is really, really cool. So this is a design I already have on a surface. This is a chalkboard surface. This is actually our board and pillar stand. You guys, this is like one of my absolute favorite surfaces that we do offer. You can put it vertical or horizontal, doesn't matter. Whoops, I did it backwards, but vertical or horizontal. The only thing you have to worry about are where the holes are in here because it does come with a little screw pin to hold it in place, okay? So this is just a really, really awesome stand. But as you guys can see, I already have a design on here, right? Do you see that? I can touch it, feel it, it's not gonna come off. But check this out, this is what I love. So I'm gonna spray this. No worry, Sandy, I just felt bad that I didn't get to see everybody on there, so we're gonna reschedule. So you guys, I used our amazing little spritzer bottle that we do offer at Chocotour. Obviously, it's got our awesome logo on it. It sprays just the right amount of water, but check this out, okay? This is, where'd it go? This is our new tool, it's a scraper, okay? So our chalk paste is water soluble, semi-permanent. It goes on as a liquid and dries as a solid. You guys saw, I was able to touch it, feel it, it's not coming off. But when you let it sit in water, it like reactivates the chalk paste, you guys. And this tool is like the total bomb. So if you don't have one, you need one. Check this out. Oh my gosh, like this is the coolest tool. It makes this so much easier when you want to recreate your design. You can remove chalk paste from just about any non-porous surface, you guys. So this is, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. 
right? So I've got that all up. Hey, Crystal, how are you? Welcome. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this off because I'm done with my little, my tool. And again, reusable, like we're not throwing that away. We're just going to clean that up with some water. Thank you, Crystal. And then I'm going to get my paper towel to get up all this little excess little crumbs of chalk paste there. I'm going to take my board eraser and I'm going to go over all of this. You guys, so, so much easier. Completely. So much easier. I'm doing good, Crystal. It is Saturday. We actually, we got up early today and we went kickboxing, which was kind of nice actually, because then like you have the rest of your day to do whatever, but we've been good. We've been doing really, really good. So it feels good to exercise. And then I'm like super tired at night, which is awesome because I have, I can tell you since we've been exercising, I totally have been sleeping better. Sandy, that is like the coolest tool ever. Like, I am so glad they came out with that. It is just amazing. And you guys, look. Now I have a brand new surface that we are going to be able to chalk on. Right? How cool is that? So, today we are going to use the board and pillar. We are also going to use our Christmas trees. Now, we're not going to do all three of them today. We're only going to use the one of them. Okay, but you can do this to all three and they look super cool, but I'm only doing one today. And then the other thing, you guys, if you buy the Christmas tree, don't throw this away. This is a really, really nice piece. Hey, Janine, welcome. A nice piece of, I don't know, wood, wood slash cardboard that honestly, if you wax this, you totally could chalk on this with something. So don't throw this away. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside because we're only going to use this guy today. All right. So I'm going to use our chalk paste in orange, bark, and white. So I'm just going to get my orange really quick. Our chalk paste comes in over 30 different colors. And you guys, the brand new, we have five brand new in vogue colors that just launched. Um, I think it was Thursday. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see those in person. They are just amazing. So you always want to stir up your chalk paste. You want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. And this one's really awesome. Ready to go. Our bark looks like it's going to be ready to go too. Stirring those up. So do you guys decorate for Easter? Or do you just like decorate for spring? Like are you an Easter decorator? Or do you just decorate for springtime in general? I would love to know the question of the day. Do you decorate for Easter or spring? Oh my gosh, do you hear the dogs upstairs barking? I can hear them. Maybe it's just because I'm sitting over here by the door. Now your chalk paste, like I said, I like for my chalk paste to kind of fall off of my stir stick. So like when I pull my stir stick up, I want it to fall right off of there. So when I lift it up, it comes right off. So that one's okay. It's a little thick, but it's good. It's good for me. All right, so the first thing we are going to do, you guys, we're actually going to paint this. So what did I do with my little brush? So I'm going to just dip my little spongy brush in a little bit of water. Okay. And I'm going to dip it right into my chalk paste. Now, here's the thing, you guys. You totally could do this with acrylic paint if you wanted to. I'm just letting you know that I'm just doing it with our chalk paste because I'm not going to go buy a bottle of orange acrylic paint so I'm just going like this okay so I hope you guys can kind of see what I'm sort of doing right now can anybody take a guess what I'm doing yay Sandy you decorate for all seasons yay Can anybody guess what I'm doing? I'm sure you can, right? You totally can see what's going on right here. Did you check that out? Like, seriously? Matthew, do you want the paper towel holder or not? He, he keeps these. It's, I'm just saying. He makes things. You guys all know that, right? Let me just pull this down because I splattered all over the place. I was splattering. 
All right, so do you guys decorate for Easter? Or do you just decorate for spring? I'm gonna dry this up a little bit. Yay, you guys know what I'm making. Good guesses, right? You guys got it. I'm not fooling anybody. I think I'm good. I don't even think I need to put another coat on there. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? Welcome. Chalk Couture makes it easy to decorate, right? Each and every season, we have something new. And our new spring catalog just came out, which is so amazing. I hope you guys are loving it. And also, if you guys are on the fence about joining that Club Couture program, you guys, that transfer, that home transfer is still available, um, but it's while supplies last, and we are definitely getting low. Right, Tina? I get it, but since I've been doing shots for, I decorate for fall and Christmas, I decorate for everything. Love it! I was kind of just always like a fall and Christmas kind of a person. I didn't really decorate for each and every season, but Chalk Couture has totally changed that. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Looky, isn't he cute so far? All right, so I'm going to leave that open just in case I want to add some more. So we're going to be using one of our tags today. Remember, these come in a pack of six. And then I am going to be using our brand new, right, Patty? Like the Club Couture transfers, amazing. This is our brand new um, Cottontail Farms transfer. You guys, all of our transfers do have directions on the back if you buy them personally and you're not at a workshop with me, so they do have all the directions. And, of course, you can watch all the videos. But this is the little guy we are going to be using today. I could not wait to do this. I just think it's going to be super, super cute for Easter. All right. So I am going to get those amazing, super awesome transfer cutter scissors. As you guys can see, there are cut lines right in our transfers. So they totally make it easy for you. Take all the guesswork. But for those of you that have worked with vinyl in the past, what I want to say is this. What I love about these transfers as opposed to vinyl is the fact that all the detailing is already done for you, you guys. So like all this detailing in this bunny is all done. And I don't have to weed anything. I don't have to pull anything up. Just remove my transfer and it's all set and ready to go. So I'm just gonna cut this apart. I'm not using any of this, but I'm just gonna cut it apart so it's easier to store. That's all, okay? Easy to store. So I'm going to set this aside and get that out of the way. And we are going to do our cute little cottontail bunny right on here. Okay, so our first step, as everyone knows, we are going to totally write on the back of our transfer because we are going to, once we're done with them, we clean them up. We use a little bit of water, a Clorox wipe or Lysol wipe. We let them air dry, adhesive side up. And then we put them back on these carrier sheets, you guys. You usually get anywhere from 8 to 10 uses out of one transfer. And how cute would this be on like a t-shirt for Easter? For a little kid. I mean, super, super cute. For an adult, you could totally do it. So you're going to take your finger, rub it over the edge. I'm going to flip this over. I like to remove my carrier sheet from my transfers. And this is a new one, you guys. Rebecca, I store my transfers in, um, like, the large ones I store in our, our totes that we have in the back office, the um, transfer totes. And then I also have a portfolio that I keep them in, the picture portfolios that you can buy at the craft stores. That's also what I keep them in. So I have two different ways. So, you guys, I'm just fuzzing this transfer up so that it's a little bit easier to remove, especially since it's new and it's pretty sticky. This is our fuzzing cloth that we offer at Chocotour as well. Not only are they great for fuzzing, they're great for cleaning as well. 
Just saying. Oh, and you know what? That's still a little bit wet in there. And I don't want to put my transfer down on a wet surface. Actually, let me hit this with a hair dryer really, really quick. I think we're good. Okay. And then I'm going to put my transfer right down here. I want him right in the center. He's going to be the focal point here. Our cute little bunny. Okay. And then let me tell you, this is what I'm going to do with this transfer because it is on a on surface where it's kind of like inside this little box. I'm going to take one of my corners and fold it down just a little bit so that it's easier for me to pick up. So can you guys see that? All I did was I took one of my corners and I folded it down right there so that when I need to pull it off, it's easier to grab. Okay. Just a little quick tip there for you. And actually he's crooked, so here we go. Get in my corner, pulling that up. And see, you can reposition if you need to. So I'm just gonna put him down again. Of course, I could have cut crooked too, so let's let's not, you know, let's be real. I totally could have cut crooked. All right. Again, so I'm just smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles in my little silk screen transfer. Okay? Now, I am going to use... I forgot to get my pesto out for my grass. Sorry, you guys. So I'm using pesto and bark for our bunny. And I actually might put a tiny little bit of white in his little tail. Okay? So I'm going to take my small squeegees. And I'm going to take it, dip it right into my chalk paste. And then I'm just going to scrape this across this silk screen area. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of the grass right here. Okay. All this little grass down at the bottom. You don't need a ton of chalk paste, you guys. You really, really don't. But you just want to scrape it, applying pressure and scrape it. It's not painting or dabbing. Um, if you've ever been to one of those painting classes, sometimes you dab. This is not dabbing. This is scraping. Okay. Put that back in my jar. I'm going to get my bark. And I'm going to scrape this across my bunny. Okay. He's such a cute little bunny. He's going to be cute. And what's really nice with him is, you know what, if you're just using this little bunny, you guys totally could keep him out year round. This would be cute in a game room. Again, your living room entryway, your office area, your kitchen. I think he would fit in just about anywhere. Okay, I'm going to scrape off my excess, you guys. Excess is going to go right back in my jar. Again, applying pressure. Now I am going to try to do a little bit of white with my finger in his tail. You don't want a lot, you guys. Let's see if I can just do a little bit of white back here for his little bunny tail. Right? Maybe a little there. Maybe a little bit there. Just to give him a little bit of definition. Right? That's good. That's good. Chocolate bunny. Hi, George. Welcome. The pesto is a really pretty color. You could absolutely do that too, Denise. Great, great suggestion. All right. So you are going to pull top to bottom, left to right. Oh, his little tail. So cute. Never corner to corner, you guys, because this is like a fabric. Look at this. Look how cute he is. Our little chocolate bunny. He's so cute. And my transfer, I'm just putting right in the water, you guys. But look. Look at all the definition in the bunny, you guys. Do you see that? He is so cute. And then do you see where I added like a little bit of white? It just gave it a little bit more character. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Welcome. He is so, so cute, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I do. I really, really like him. Super cute. Super cute little bunny. That is a must-have transfer. No questions asked. No questions asked. All right, so 
I'm actually going to, see now he is actually going to go, boy, I'm glad I looked at the back real quick, right? He's going to go right in our board and base, just like that. And then this pin goes in there, you guys, and the pin is going to slide. Well, actually the new ones have a screw. This is an older one. Slides right in there so that it totally holds it right in place. Okay. So I love our board and pillar. All right, so I'm gonna set him aside for right now. And I just wanna make sure this is dry. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go a little bit more with a hair dryer on this, just to make sure we're dry. He is super cute, you guys. You guys need to get that one. Okay, so remember, we're using these Christmas trees. You are gonna need a glue gun for this. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Christmas tree transfer that has, remember this is the one that fits right on there, that just has the little swirlies in it, and I've already written on the back of him. Again, remember, these are all reusable, you guys. So, I'm going to go like that. Oh, I did that wrong. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, I did it wrong. So, let's do this. Here we go. We're going to go this way. See, we all make mistakes. It's all good. I was thinking it was the <laughs> that the lines were the only thing open. We're here. It's the whole thing that's open. So that's why I'm flipping it over. <laughs> that's all right. We can do something else on the other side if we want to, right? See, we all forget things sometimes. Okay, so just smoothing that out. And I did flip it over, you guys. So you saw, here, here's the deal. Painted it on one side to look like a carrot. You could put some words on this side if you wanted to. Doing it on this side. Huh? Oh, what's up? Oh, he's over here saying, what's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? You want to come do this, Jason? Hmm? You want to do that's, the carrot? That's really orange. That's a carrot orange. That's yeah. really carrot orange. You want to do it? No. He don't want to do it, you guys. See how he is? Isn't he adorable? That cool. I like my bunny, too. So, again, just scraping this across the silk screen, you guys. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, my gosh. I did say that. Did I say that? You're going to get the entertainment center? Oh, okay. Sand it down. He made our little entertainment center for our living room, you guys. So, he stained it, cut the wood. It's just a little one. It's just to hold all the boxes. Shelf a shelf entertainment center. There you go. I can't believe I painted that and I really didn't need to. Oh well. That happens. I wasn't paying attention to my transfer. Excess goes back in the jar. You guys, this is our small squeegee. We have mini squeegees and small squeegees. There we go. Look at that carrot. Huh? Adorable. Totally adorable. My water is total orange back here. It's all good. Totally orange back here. Cleaning my hands. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, you guys. Super, super cute. Okay. Orange peel, yep, exactly. He is a keeper, Jen. Seriously, he, we've been together 20 years. Um, we met at work where we worked together and um, been together 20 years and it was just, it was meant to be, totally meant to be. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. All right, so I made a little tassel. All right, you guys, this is easy. Real quick, all I did was take some twine I'm going to do this really quick for you guys to see how I made my little tassel there. Okay. You're going to take some twine. I'm just wrapping it around my three fingers just like this. Okay. Just like that. You take it off of your fingers. You get another piece of your twine. And then you just, whoopsies. 
you take it and you wrap it. Oh, let me see if I can wrap it one more time. Just like that. You tie a knot. This is a quick way to make a cute little tassel. This is going to be for the end of the carrot, you guys, is where this is going. So I'm going to make a knot like that, okay? You're going to cut off your little excess there. Cut that off. See, these transfer cutters are, like, amazing. And then you'll take your scissors, and you're going to put it through the hole and cut it. And then you've got your cute little tassel, okay? And this is what is gonna go right on the end, okay? So I'm gonna get my glue gun. I'm gonna put a dab of glue right here. Uh-oh, my glue gun is not, hold on you guys. It's not catching my other, my other tube there. There we go. Nice big old dab of glue. You have a dab of glue. I'm actually going to use that one. I like this one better. I'm going to hold it in place for, oh, for a few seconds. I like this one better than the other one. Goodness gracious. Just like that. Hot glue is the bomb. Decorate for all. I'm late. Tyler is still, oh no, Rebecca. I know. There's so much nasty flu going around. It's poopy. It's just so poopy. All right. And then, you guys, I'm going to add some glue right here to my edge. Right up here on this little white edge. And I'm going to get some of this nasty moss that drives me bananas because it's super messy. <laughs> I'm like crazy when it comes to this stuff. It's so messy, though. Okay, and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it right on there and I'll play with it. I probably don't need that much on there, but it's all good. Oh my gosh, that is so messy. And look, you guys, look how cute that is. Look at that cute little carrot. Is that not adorable? Oh, I better see hearts and thumbs up and stars and sparkles and shares and everything for that little carrot right tell me that's not adorable and i threw away my paper towel and i need it and i need my paper towel rebecca you need to make yourself some carrots and actually you could do it with all three of the trees like seriously you totally can use all three you don't need to just use this one i'm only using one just because i only want one because it's going on a little coffee table in my living room. Sorry, you guys. I'm cleaning up. I have moss like you would not believe all over me. And that will drive me bananas. But you totally, totally could use. No egg. I'm not going to use an egg right now. Honestly, I'm not. So, here's what we're going to do next. Okay, we've got our bunny. We've got our, our, our little um, carrot. I'm going to take one of my tags, you guys. I'm going to use the egg cutout. This is one of the egg cutouts, you guys. Again, I've already written on the back because remember, these are reusable. We used this the other day. Okay. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the pattern for right here at the bottom. Just want a little bit right here at the bottom. And I think I'm actually, I, ooh, stuck my finger right in there. I'm actually going to use this pesto. I, I'm really liking this pesto color. So I'm going to use this right here at the bottom of my little tag. Now remember, these come in a set of six, you guys. Again, I highly recommend getting these tags. They are awesome. They're amazing. They're great accent pieces. You can make beaded tags. You can make things for your wine glasses. Just super, super, super awesome. So I've got that little accent down there at the bottom, okay? I'm gonna dry that up. Just like this. Hair dryer just makes it go quick, you guys. 
I am crazy today. All right, so don't be mad at me. Please tell me, if please everybody say you promise you won't be mad at me. I'm going to use an old transfer to put something on here. Here's what I don't know. Do I want to put the word bunny on there? Do I want to put the word spring on there? Do I want to put somebody loves you on there? Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Here's what we're doing. Sorry. Cancel. Cancel suggestion. Cancel suggestion. I'm doing this. Somebody. Somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. Woo -woo. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Sandy, your stuff is ordered. I'm just waiting for it to get here to ship to you. I cannot wait till you get it and create and share in our VIP group. All right. So we're going to do some bunny. Some bunny loves you. All right. Sorry. I will quit singing. I promise. Question is, what color? Oh, I'm going to go with the bark. We're going to go bark. Okay. Somebody loves you. Oh, honey, if you're watching out in the garage, you probably aren't. Somebody loves you here. I know he's like, he's not watching me. He's sanding. Somebody. Let me dry that because I'm going to be putting words right under it. George, this is an old transfer. <laughs> this one is, I want to say this was from the Build a Bunny, but it's an older transfer. Like we definitely don't have it anymore. I'm almost positive it was Build a Bunny, but it could have been like from two years ago, and I honestly don't remember. So I'm super sorry. I don't know off the top of my head. So Bunny loves you. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. We're, we're going for it here. I thought that would be cute little saying on there, didn't you? Isn't that cute little saying on there? Okay. Somebody loves you. That's super cute. Super cute, you guys. Honey, somebody loves you. Aw, dear, aw. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna dry this up. Just like that, drying it up. And then you guys, I'm gonna take this cute little bow. Check this cute little bow out. I will do a tutorial on how to make this little bow another day. Literally, I can tell you here, uh, real quick, I'm not going to, I can't make a whole one because it does take a few minutes, but all you do is you take your strips of fabric or your strips of ribbon, you guys, this is literally how, how you would make this bow. You want to cut your little corner down at the bottom. You want to cut those on one side only. And then you just take them, you keep getting different kinds of ribbon, and you fold them. You don't fold them all the way, though. So you take them, and you kind of fold them like this, so that they're still, do you see how there's like a different part there? And then you're going to hold it. And you take another one. You can, I did, you get different colors. And you just keep doing it. And you keep stacking them on top of each other. Then when you get enough, you just take a piece, a piece of string or a piece of twine and tie it. And then you just pull it apart. Like you just sit here and you pull it apart. Okay. 
But I will do a full tutorial on that. That was just real quick if you want to try it at home. If you want to try it at home. There is no... What do they always say with that, honey? Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home, but you can try this at home. You can try this at home. Yeah. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this right here at the top. And like I said, you can play with it and move it around so that the cute little tag is going to go right on to our pillar stand. Okay. So let me flip this over. Actually, let me put it up one more, just a little bit there. I'm just going to tie this in a knot on our pillar stand. Okay. And then you would cut it off. You're not going to leave it like that. You'll cut off all that excess. But you guys, look how cute. And like I said, I would play with this so that it's not covering my words. And I will make sure I do that when I take a picture. But look how cute. And then this would be like displayed right in front of it, you guys. Isn't here. Let me get this out of the way. Oh my gosh, this looks so messy for you guys on the video. I am so sorry. Let me throw this stuff. Squeegees are also reusable, you guys. Let me move this all out of the way. Okay. Super cute. And like I would display this with the, the carrot kind of like on its side like that, you guys. So that is our little um, board and pillar stand. These are our tags that come in a set of six. This is our, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot the name already. He is called Cottontail Farms. That is the little transfer. This is the trees, the three set of trees with the tree transfer. And then we just had some twine, some moss, and a little bit of riz risbon, ribbon for a cute little Easter display. You guys, do you love it? Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Was this a cute little project? Yes, no. Would you have done anything differently? Oh my gosh, I think that is so cute, you guys. So if you have any questions about the products or becoming a Chalk Couture designer, please let me know. Give me a hashtag join. Again, if you're interested in being a designer, I can get you that information. If you are not a designer, I would love for you to become a part of my VIP group where we do lots of fun things in there. We have an amazing Club Couture program in there that we're going to be doing some fun stuff. So just give me a hashtag VIP. Like I said, as long as you are not a current designer, I would love to put you in there. And you guys, I hope you really did love this project. I think it turned out super cute. I cannot wait to get a great picture for you on display. And stay tuned for more fun, crafty videos, you guys. So I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Good night, guys. Happy weekend.